<laughs> hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince, and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my dad intended when he spent the bulk of his life collecting drink recipes, we're gonna share some with you now. Yeah, and we're Average Joe, so we wanted to take as many as we can, taste them, and then bring in the ones that we think taste the best. So sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. So what do you got, sir? All right, I am going to be making the Manhattan. Ooh. Very classic drink. Yes. Uh, has some similarity to um, New York. Old fashioned. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the city, yes. <laughs> and some other things. So, what do you got, Vince? <laughs> I'm going to make a drink called the Vieux Carré, which is another New Orleans born classic. Yes. With a history, and we'll get into that. And that was a request from Eric, um, formerly of Arizona, now in Washington. Thanks, Eric. Okay, so one of the popular histories of the Manhattan is that um, Lady Randolph Churchill was throwing a party in New York and had this recipe created for the party. But the problem is that she was in England giving birth to some guy named Winston. Yeah, not a bad guy. I not mean, it depends guy. on if you're French. Yeah. Eh. So anyways, even though it's a popular history, it's not highly unlikely it's true. But it was created in the early 1880s, and it's one of the first cocktails to really utilize vermouth as uh, a mixer, as a, you know, to enhance a drink, as an ingredient. So it kind of paved the way for like the Rob Roy, uh, the martini, heard of that I'm sure, although it's dry and this is a sweet vermouth so it's slightly different. All right, so this this is a drink that we stir. We don't shake this. Um, we don't have any citrus in there. Um, really all we're doing with the stirring portion of it is we're, we're controlling the dilution. So we want it to be diluted a certain amount. All we have is um, bitters and then two alcohols. So um, we're just going to control the dilution by how much you stir it. Um, it's also important, two things. The glass is very important. Um, we serve these up, so without ice. So you want stemware and you want to chill your glasses. Um, otherwise, you're going to then take the drink that you've chilled and now warm it up. Because all the there goes the all your glass work that you've done. The temperature. Exactly. So having a stemware, you hold it here, chill your glasses, you're good to go. This is a birthday present. This is a good one. So we're going to do two ounces of bourbon per drink. Um, this is very similar to, again, the old-fashioned, so it's very bourbon-y. Is that a... Yes. We'll use that, we'll, we'll use that as a We've description. We've coined that phrase. You saw it here first. How about your drinks? So we're going to do two ounces of bourbon per drink. And if you notice, right now, there is no ice in this particular container because we want to control, again, the dilution. If we have it in here, it's already starting to melt, then it's already going to start to dilute. So don't put the ice in here until you're ready to start stirring. That's important. Martini brand <laughs> sweet vermouth. We're going to put one ounce per drink, so I'm going to put two ounces in here. Now, you told me before vermouth is a wine, right? Exactly. It's just fortified with different herbs, so it's kind of one. So it's a very, you're going to get a very floral note uh, along with the wine smell. So you should smell a sweet wine, but with some herbs. We'll, we'll do a little bit more about that too, because uh, interestingly enough, the old school had French and Italian vermouths. Mm -hmm. Nowadays they talk about sweet and dry vermouths. Right. Which, I don't know if there's a history there, but. Well, and that's, that's interesting, because uh, if you're gonna order Manhattan, you're gonna get a sweet vermouth. If you order a perfect Manhattan or a dry Manhattan, you're gonna either get it with just dry vermouth or with half dry and half sweet. This is what I prefer. Okay. Um, the, so the, the portions for your bourbon or rye whiskey, depending on a lot of people use rye whiskey instead of this, I just happen to like bourbon better. And vermouth, it's gonna be pretty standard across the board. Your bitters, how much bitters you, that goes in there, that's really what's gonna change. Some people say one dash, some people say two. I like two to three because I think it really enhances the flavor a bit. So since we have two drinks, I'm gonna do four to six dashes. And what you wanna do is you wanna get your water, you wanna get the dashes inside the water. <laughs> As you go along. We're gonna dump those out so it's fine. Anyways, now what we wanna do, now that we've gotten our alcohol in there, we're gonna put our ice in there. So now we wanna put some ice in here. And what you want to do is get it just above the alcohol or close to it. And we're going to stir this about 30 times. And again, all we're doing here is we're just going to control the dilution by, or we're going to dilute the drink by stirring it. And now what we want to do is we want to dump out the ice from our chilled glasses here. <laughs> all right, now what we want to do is we want to pour this in here. Again, this is going to be up. There's going to be no ice in here. So these are five ounce glasses. So sure. it's, not, it's not it's not a huge drink. Is <laughs> exactly it's it's not a big drink. But I figure there's three ounces of alcohol, so it's a decent drink. And we're gonna do a maraschino cherry per. Um, some people put it on a on a toothpick inside there. I actually like the way it looks when it's all the way at the bottom of the glass. 
So that, again, is a traditional Manhattan. And there you go, sir. Simple drink, but if you do it right, it's very tasty. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's a strong drink, but it's got a great flavor, I think. Yeah, and the, the bitters adds a lot to it. Mm -hmm. It yeah. really does. It kind of rounds out the flavor of it, because, I mean, bourbon is bourbon, which is great, but having the bitters in there, it, again, like, a good way to think of bitters is the seasoning for the cocktail. And it's a nice, pretty look there, classic look. Hmm. There you go. There's your Manhattan. <laughs> so, you know, I, this, again, this is a drink that if, if you're not a bourbon drinker, if you're not, if you're not going to drink bourbon by itself, you may not like this drink. It, it's, it's strong. I mean, you know, Vince, I don't know if this is your favorite drink. Well, I, I do like whiskey. You can taste the whiskey. Mm -hmm. I'm learning about vermouth. I don't right. know a lot about it. It's not something that I... I actually for the, bought vermouth yesterday for the first time in my life. So, we're learning as we go along with this. YouTube show. Yeah, and that's the thing. There, there are certain drinks that, you know, our palates might not think are the best, but everywhere I read, everything I've looked at as far as the Manhattan, this is the classic way to make it. Um, I think it's good. I had one yesterday, and it's, it's tasty, but it's not one, it's a sipping drink. So it, it really, again, it's, it's, it's like a whiskey bourbon. drinker's drink. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to put it. All right, Vince, what do you got? Le Vieux Carré. Okay, it's another New Orleans drink. Um, they speak French down there, so we have yeah. to be very authentic. He, he does. Gusto. Uh, it's almost like a Sazerac on steroids, right? So you made a Sazerac. What Did. was in there? You got rye, you got rye, bitters. Rye, Peychaud's bitters, and then just a... Ice and a lemon twist was basically yep. and Sazerac. And sweet, uh, simple syrup or sugar. So this, and, and, and the Sazerac kind of makes you choose between your different kinds of whiskeys, or you can make it with cognac. Yeah. This is a drink that has everything. Okay, so we're gonna be putting it does. I'm not choosing anything, I'm doing it. Throw it all in there. We're gonna be putting in some rye. We're gonna be putting in some cognac. We're gonna be putting in some Benedictine, which is a French liqueur mm -hmm. that can stir emotion in people. We're gonna be using two different kinds of bitters, um, Angostura and Peychaud. Peychaud, which is also another New Orleans invention. Mm -hmm. This drink was invented in 1938 at a bar called Monteleon in New Orleans. The bar's still there to this day. Mm -hmm. You can go there, order one of these guys. The bar rotates, so don't order too many. <laughs> How fast? <laughs> yeah, apparently not Whee! that fast. Oh, no. <laughs> so, but it is. It's, it's like a Sazerac with all the bells and whistles. This is a also a stirred drink. We're going to build it real fast. I'm going to do, like I did before, a chilled piece of glass so that it doesn't absorb all the temperature, melt all the ice, make everything kind of weird. We're going to go with three quarters of an ounce per drink of most of these ingredients. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with rye, rye whiskey. Three quarters of an ounce twice is one and a half. You did that pretty good. I'm practicing. And we'll get into the whole pour thing. I'm, not, I'm still not a fan of pours for my house. Maybe in a bar they make perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, if you can't have like a lid on there, and, and it costs a little bit more money for those, so if you're not going to be having them constantly being used, then yeah, I agree with you. Because then you're basically leaving your, your alcohol open. Vermouth, sweet vermouth. Now, I'm using a different brand than Eddie uses, um, not for any other reason than we thought we'd try different brands. One thing that you will notice is that the sweet vermouths are always in a red package, dry vermouths are always in a green package, and if you're looking at real old school stuff, uh, sweet vermouth is considered Italian vermouth. Hmm. Dry vermouth is considered French vermouth, mostly because the French people are not real big on sweet stuff. Don't know why. There it is. Here it is. These are the facts. Deal with it. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> and then we're going to go, same thing, cognac, three quarters of an ounce per drink. So I'm going to be putting in one and a half ounces. That sounds familiar. As you can see, this is a pretty powerful drink so far. We're going to go with just a hint of Benedictine per drink. Again, this is a French liqueur. Not going for a lot. If you have a bar spoon, you can use a bar spoon. That's going to give you about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon, yeah. We're going with both sets of bitters. One splash per drink. Here 
Oh, I just decided the glass. That's okay. I forgive you. Let me get it in there. I'm going to stir it up. Not too crazy. And then we're going to serve it over ice. This is a sipping drink. It's pretty powerful. Don't get crazy. Don't move. I'm going to go get my lemon twist. And then we're going to put a lemon twist on each one. Kind of a short drink, but definitely a powerful drink. Yeah, I don't think you need a whole lot more than that to, to be happy. And there it is. Le Vieux Carré. Very popular drink in New Orleans. Yeah, you get the lemon So you right get the away. lemon right away. I mean, that's the whole point of it, sure. right? You, when you twist it, you get the oils loose. You uh, throw it in there so it stays there. You're the whiskey guy. Yeah, that's a that's a much more mild drink than the um, an old fashioned or even the Manhattan that we had earlier. Because you get the whiskey, but then you definitely get the other flavors in your. I think it's that. This is a real sophisticated. The, the flavors kind of roll across your tongue when you first taste it. I tasted the whiskey, mm -hmm. and then. And part of it maybe is because I'm looking for other flavors. Right, you're trying to find those. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a lot more complex, but it's good. Again, definitely a whiskey drinker's drink, but that's tasty. I think also if you're if you're mm. not as much of a whiskey drinker, this would be a little bit more palatable. It's not as powerful of a whiskey drink as some of the others. You're not going to be breathing fire, as uh, as, as Lisa put it. That's right. <laughs> she tasted the other one. Um, I do like it, that's and good. I'm not a whiskey guy. Right. So Le Vieux Carré, traditional New Orleans drink, you know, made from the same places, like you said, Hurricanes mm -hmm. and Sazeracs right. and just the bitters themselves. Peixot's bitters were invented in New Orleans. We're almost in fizz. Yes. All those New Orleans. New Orleans, we need to go visit New Orleans. I think we need Orleans. to move there. Let's go, let's go for, let's do some Mardi Gras shots Let's there. go visit there. Let's take some beads. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. So. If you liked what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a couple of things. Uh, on YouTube, if you can, like the video. Um, we'd love to have you subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber. Um, go over to Facebook. We have some very funny stuff on there. Vince and Lisa do a good job of keeping that up to date. And share the videos. We'd love to have you share with other people and, and get the videos out there in the community. Make some comments below. Tell us what you think. Questions, comments, complaints, suggestions for drinks. Mm -hmm. um, we have a blog at AverageShowDrinks.com. Please drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. So you can come back and drink more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.